All right, here we are. The start of Panga Part 2. We're repainting the Panga so it looks nice when we put our new 115 Yamaha on there. So yesterday I got the sanding on it. I got uh, I got this whole side underneath done, except for a couple places I had to make a couple of patches. Uh, I had that little places that were bad on the bottom from the trailer before I fixed the trailer up. We got that all patched up. Um, but all the way down, we got two thirds of the bottom. We got the sides. You can see how it's dull looking. And I got to finish the front up here, all the way up. And then obviously this side still got a shine to it. All that's got to be sanded. See all my friends there. It's like, hey, hey, Don, you can paint. Hey, paint my boat for me. Hey, paint this for me. And I say, you know, I'm happy to do that for you. But the prep, the prep is all the work. I said, you get a prep, and we'll help you out. Because this is going to be like three days of sanding here, patching little knickknacks and whatnot. I mean, everything's got to be right if you're going to paint it. And then, you know, a couple hours of taping everything off, making it right. But, uh, you know, that's all part of it. You know, it's, when we're done, it's going to look good. It's going to look sharp. So anyways, uh, I'll let you join in on some of the fun. Uh, I'll obviously speed this up, but let's do some sanding. I've got a couple spots underneath there that I patched yesterday. I got to, uh, I got to fix them up. Let's start with that. We're going through lots of sandpaper. Uh, the creeper's my friend here. And a big fan. Right, that's the places I patched last night. I had to let that stuff cure real good. I use Marine Tex when I fill them little holes. You can get it white or gray. Obviously, I use white. They say it sands easily, but Marine Tex sands like iron. It's harder to sand than a gel coat. So you have to be careful that you don't wear into your boat when you're doing that. So, anyways, let's, uh, that was fun. Let's keep going. We're going to stand up here now. Let's see if we can make this a little taller. Here's to a good, it'll get all the wax out of it, it'll clean it. Oh, okay. Another thing I got to do on this one this is a, a, an amends panga, and the finish on these is probably less quality than the other pangas. I hope I don't piss anybody off out there. Um, it's just not, I, you know, some of the Aguardos they got a nicer exterior finish. Uh, obviously, the Panga Marines, uh, the manufacturers I've looked at there. Chris has got Panga Marines, I got to talk to him, I can see his post. He's got the old molds, molds and he's building that boat. I gotta, I gotta go look at that. Anyways, uh, a lot of my sanding, I'm not just roughing up, but I'm actually taking out, you know, uh, some of the weed that you can see in the gel coat, some of the roughness out of it. Uh, when I get done, this is gonna be really nice. It's gonna look sharp. And we're using all grip paint. Uh, can't say enough about all grip paint. Uh, the downside is it's kind of costly. I love the painting, but oh my God. Um, and with all grip, there's no repairing it. It's a one and done. You either paint it right the first time, or you sand it off and you do it again. So if you decide to paint a boat with that, make sure you got your ducks in a row. Make sure you know what you're doing, or have somebody do it for you that does. So anyways, that's a little break. I'm going to put my dust mask back on. And, uh, we got a little bit more to go on the battle. Let's keep going.
Got that side and the side underneath and the very very bottom. So all I got is the other complete side, oh yeah, yeah, and then the, the one third of the bottom over here. But you see, I didn't do too much around them edges there. This is the stuff you got. If you do too much with the sander, I'm only using 400 grit here. If you uh, try to get too aggressive with it, you'll get into it. Uh, 400 I found works out real good. That's just enough for the paint to do. And then I got to take my face and I'm gonna, I won't have to work these edges. The whole way down, you really get in there good. If you don't try too much with the sander, you'll get into it. And then you'll find little edges. Okay, when it's real shiny, you can see them. When it's all going, you don't see it so much. Anyway, so that's where I'm at now. I got lots of hand sanding to do. And then I'm going to get on the other side. Then uh, sand, 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 sand. I got one more little patch that I made yesterday. You can see it right here. Not much of nothing. It was just a little chip right there. I got to sand that one off. Obviously, clean up around where these scuppers were. Anywhere there were stickers, this is where the Panga USA sticker was, and my FL numbers. Anywhere there's stickers like that, spend extra time because uh, you can actually feel it. You know, it, it, where the sun doesn't shine on that, it gets into it, and uh, you got to sand extra. Or it'll actually show through in your paint. You, I mean, you won't really see it, but be, you get the light right, and you're like, hey, I see that. Wow. So you can see this thing's all yellowed on the bottom. Um, and I've cleaned it with the acid stuff before, and it cleans up nice, but. You know, that uh, gel coat is porous enough now because of its age that you take it out the next time it's, it's dirty again. So one good paint job with the all grip paint, and it's what we call one and done. It, it looked like it was just repainted for the next 10 years. It's, it's really good paint. Decided to give you a little view of what I'm up, in, up against here. You can look, you see nice shiny white everywhere. Nice shiny white. Wow, well, it didn't come easy. This is what we're up against here. So um, here's on the other side. I haven't done the side yet. That doesn't look so bad. You're like, geez, that ain't so bad, Don. What are you complaining about? I'm not complaining. It's just part of the job. But take a look under here where it's really yellowed from the, from the days. See how it's all yellowed in here? But see how you can see that weave right through the right through the gel coat, all that. All that's got to not just be sanded, but sanded smooth. So you got to get all that weave out of it so everything's nice and smooth. When this is done... <laughs> It'll look good. It'll look like mirror, but it's all that weave. I can feel it with my hands. All that's got to be sanded out. You know, if not, well then, shoot, if not, I should have left it the way it was, but I'm going to paint it. I'm going to do it once. I'm going to do it right. And uh, now we still got to build that anchor while we've been talking about it. Anyway, here we go. We're still hard at it. Oh, you know, you don't have to watch me sand for three days. This is day two, by the way. Day two of sanding. I don't know if I'll get it done today. Definitely get it done by tomorrow. And then after that, uh, it's a good, good soap bath. Gets a good wipe down. And then uh, visqueen the whole top of it. And weather permitting, well, we'll get after it with a tack rag and uh, get out here with the paint. And I'll show you the paint process. It's pretty cool. It looks so nice when it's done. I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm excited about getting that new 115 on there. Anyway, uh, okay. Thanks for joining me. We'll be back.